Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today we are going to go and talk a little bit about how I installed the aux beam controller into the cab. Everybody keeps asking about where I ran the wire and how I got it through there. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are liking the content that we are putting out so far. We have more coming out since we are now relocated down here in Florida. Um, this is actually our new house uh, that we have here. Um, temporary as we look for some land and stuff down here so that we can try to do some more overlanding but we are by some trails um we have a camper down here so we'll be taking that out and doing some stuff and then plus we still have some overlanding that we're going to be doing on the bike so stay tuned <music> okay so today we are going to talk a little bit about this aux beam controller so we purchased this one they have another model that came out shortly after we get purchased this one which <laughs> i'm wishing we we would have known about that i would have waited a little bit but it's bluetooth um has a whole bunch of other stuff you have an app that you can do it to you it's rgb so you can change the colors and stuff um but we did a couple different things with this one we wired it up so it's on all the time so we can control it and turn on all of our lights as we want um, we have also our train horn tied into here um, that's more just for when people cut us off and um, just causing a whole bunch of problems so we got the radio um, radio is actually the cellular booster from we boost so we have that um, and basically what we did was we ran the wire down through here and basically it goes over here and it ties into the firewall boot right over here so let's go take a look at that okay so excuse the mess we haven't tied everything up we did have to take all this apart when we had the windshield changed i just haven't gotten around to back to touching it back up and zip tying everything back up but this panel here is the actual aux beam controller so if you guys are not familiar with it let's see if i get that off We've upgraded the fuses inside here because we're running a little bit more power through the system. Um, but six channels, six relays, wires coming in. Uh, we did take the underglow off, uh, the rock lights off, technically underglow, so we took the wire off here. Um, but basically, we have the controller wire, which is here. This wire here ties over and comes over for the other lights, the pod light over here. So basically, we have this wire here, comes down. And everybody's always asking where we're running it down to. So we do need to bring this back up and zip tie it back all up because it actually is supposed to be all the way up there. But down right up underneath here, the ABS module here, uh, the ABS module, right underneath there, there's a boot. If you can see that. So you can see where the wire goes through. Oops. And that boot is going to have the wire that comes through here. This here is for our radio antenna that comes up for the little one up here so that's all right here um, this is going to be going through the firewall um, but we're actually going to buy a, a different a different one that we can actually splice into um, and basically super simple to get this taken off there's a clip here and then this just comes down so you have the little strut here ties all up in here um, comes out but basically that's what this clip does down here pulls this all out <laughs> just made a mess of all that but oh, it's okay so wires here comes all the way up and then basically we fed it back here give you a little bit of view there but we fed it so that it went up into this little tray area here which was a really tight fit so but yeah it's tucked right behind the glove box and yeah i <laughs> Super simple. Uh, I think the hardest part was getting up underneath the blower box here. Um, if you get a small enough hand, like a helping hand from you, Darius was able to help me out when I did this a while ago. Um, you just need to get it through the boot, bring it through. And that's a good passing point for a lot of stuff if you do need to bring it into the cab. But the whole purpose of this was we wanted to basically bring this all into one wire coming through there. Okay, so now that you guys have seen that, Wire goes through there, on the boot back there. Cuts across, comes over here. You guys pretty much mount it wherever you want. If you wanted to mount it here, you can mount it here. Um, the reason I mounted it here is close to the battery. Um, this is for the wire going back. And then we tapped into the ground right over here. So yeah, like I said, super simple to install. If you're looking for a central location, we've brought all the cables right here um, to one central location as far as for the air horn, the grill lights, the roof lights, pod lights all 
And like I said, this is just a super, super simple, sweet video for you guys to understand where you guys can tap into this and bring some wires through here safely without having to drill into your firewall. Um, this here is just a boot. Um, basically what I do is if you just cut a small sliver, you can pass wires through there. Keeps it waterproof. Um, if you want to take the extra measure, you can actually get more rubber seal and can seal it back up once you get all the wires ran in there and you're good to go. So hope this helps you guys out. We're going to try to get the trailer out the next, next, this next weekend. Um, the wife will be down here. So we're going to try to go out there for a little bit, do some more trailing, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Be safe out there. Peace.